Hey everybody, welcome in. So I'm just doing a mail call and a bench update today. Well actually it's a final on a kit that I've been building. But um, this is from Tom. Uh, this is a great Christmas card. Um, it's the first one that I've received since being on YouTube, which I haven't even been on YouTube for a year, but this is awesome. Um, this is from Tom and his family. I really appreciate this a lot. Thank you very much, Tom. Uh, it's just, it's awesome to, to um, receive this card from you. Uh, Tom's a great guy. He's been in the community for a while. Does a lot of awesome things for people. And um, does some really awesome builds. So I'll leave a link for his uh, channel in the description below. And um, you can go check him out if you haven't done so yet go ahead and subscribe and like and comment on his videos and uh, yeah just just an awesome an awesome card thank you very much I appreciate it a lot uh, so the next thing I wanted to do is my final on my 1994 Mustang Cobra Indianapolis pace car. This is the Indianapolis 500 pace car for 1994. Well, I'm not complete. I still have to touch up the emblems here, but got the decals on it. Got it all finished, put together. Um, I think she came out pretty good. Um, let me get a little bit more. Nope, that doesn't help much. Oh well. Put a little more light on it there. But um, yeah, I got it polished up. Uh, still learning how to do that. There's a lot of scratches in it still from sanding it, which may have been a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have sanded it. I just should have polished it. Uh, and the kit comes with either a tonneau cover like that, and it comes with a soft top like that which doesn't fit exactly on there, but really good, but it fits. You have to fiddle around with it a lot. Um, but yeah, I like it. Um, came out good, I think. I think it came out pretty good. So that's my second build for um, Sodak model cars, naked models. decals and colored markers. That's all I used on this one. It's got a good shine to it. So I'm happy with it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below for uh, Sodak for Adam's channel. Um, real quick, watched Adam's video this morning. Uh, talking about people, um, how they help out other YouTubers. Either being a YouTube creator yourself and or being just a subscriber or a person watching videos. Um, I guess the biggest thing was the way that we support each other and the way that we support channels. Uh, I don't really get too deeply into the algorithm stuff like I said before you know my channel was just made as a way to meet people and just show my models that I've built and as I go through this whole um, journey of getting back into modeling and relearning skills that I had before and learning new skills, working with new new um, products and stuff. Because as a lot has happened, a lot of different new products are on the market out there. But anyway, I don't get too deeply into the algorithms. I don't get too deep into analytics. But according to Adam, um, if you're just going in and watching 
two minutes of a 10 minute video going down, hitting the like button, leaving a short comment, and leaving it there, you're not really helping the creator, the content creator. Um, the way to help them fully, or to support them fully, is to watch the video to the end, then leave your comment and your thumbs up, or thumbs down whichever one you think is appropriate for what that person did in that video. Um, I myself uh, am subscribed to close to a thousand channels and I go through and I watch as many videos as I can and I watch these videos to the end. I've always thought that that was a Um, I didn't. I didn't think about how how it affects their channel. I always thought about the person's input, the person taking all that time to create the video, create the model, or whatever it is you're watching. Um, then take the time to edit it and upload it to YouTube, and all of that takes quite a bit of work sometimes for people. Um, you hear about some people, it takes a half an hour to upload a 15-minute video. Um, so it, it's, it's in the interest of us to help those that go through the time and effort to create the videos that we watch, that we enjoy, and support the creator by watching the video all the way through and, you know, giving them a thumbs up and a like. Now, if I know some, some builders, um, their videos can run 45 minutes. Um, and not everybody can sit there and watch five 45 minute videos. So if you're not into that type of long video, I don't know, I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess avoid it, watch the shorter videos. Um, but if you're trying to learn something and you're trying to improve on your skills, sometimes these long videos are the ones where you learn the most. Or you learn different tips and tricks. So, with that being said, um, support is what we look to do for each other. And watching each other's videos, watching videos that you're interested in, if it's not another content creator, and watching it to the end is the best support that you can give to that person. Um, after watching Adam's video, I went through my analytics real quick. And it does tell you how many people are subscribed to you that watch your videos. How many people are not subscribed to you that watch your videos. How many, what, uh, what's the click rate, uh, click through rate, where somebody will, you know, a certain percentage will watch an average of a minute and 43 seconds, click to the end, and they're done with it on a 10 minute video. So, I don't know, I'm still trying to learn all this stuff. It's all new to me. Like I said, I never really had much interest in it. And I don't want to make this video really long. So, Adam, that's my answer to you. Um, I do watch every video that I can through to the end. I try to support everybody in the community that I follow. So I do watch videos that go 50 minutes. Um, there are some of the some of the builders across the pond. They are very detailed in what they do and what they produce. And I watch those videos. And I've learned a lot from different types of modelers, too. 
So at any rate, I'll get off my high horse. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. If you watch it to the end, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't see you, if I don't have another video out. Thank you again to Tom and your family. Best wishes to you. And have a great weekend coming up. Take care of each other. And as always, be kind. One last thing. Please, today is December 7th. Remember Pearl Harbor and all those who have served before, since, and currently. All right. Thank you all. Take care. Bye.